What is happening? Welcome to yet another Pitchless Plays D&D session, episode number five. Um, and uh, a day after PitchCon, of course, uh, we're still doing this stuff. This is exciting. I'm happy to have everybody back here. Of course, I am Nick Pollock, playing as Sor Thunderguard the Fighter. Uh, to my left is Daniel Port. By the way, he's known as Theo Gratis. He's playing as a rogue. Then we have John Metzelar, Father Manny. So uh, the cleric and great to see you in nature Detroit. So I'm happy you're back. Uh, Austin Bristow is playing glass. The, uh, the cleric formerly a pirate and now a way of the light. And as always, we have our wonderful DM, Michael Levy. Thank you all guys for being here again. Austin, why don't you give us a recap of what happened in episode four? Uh, so we are in search of a, Ring of the Champions. However, after reaching National City, we decided to do a couple of side gigs to make some money, get a few potions here and there. And at the beginning of our fourth session, we were at the mouth of a cave in search of a prized arrow. Uh, we uh, went into the cave and immediately fought two basilisks. Uh, it was going fairly well. We were all averting our eyes, save for our a uh, fighter, Sor, who decided that he was just going to go for it and uh, was, in turn, turned to stone. So close. So close. So, close. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up lugging him back to the uh, to National City in the back of our cart as a statue. Um, turns out we needed the stomach of a basilisk to reverse the curse. So we uh, went back to the cave, came back, and our good friend Mad Max, the warlock, was able to create a potion to bring him back out of his statue state. After that, we paid a visit to the mayor of National City, Mr. Lark Learned. He had a courier that had gone missing. He was um, the mayor was trying to unite the East in who they ought to support between the two choices for the new king. And this courier was going around all of the different Eastern cities, and, but had not reported back, was due back a week ago, and he had heard nothing. So we are, I believe at this point, on our going to be on our way to Magic City, just to the north. And on our way, we're going to be keeping an eye out for... Lark Learned's Courier. All right. Okay. Uh, so describe the scene, Mike, uh, where, where you left off. Uh, so you guys um, are still at Mad Max's. Um, our wonderful Soar Thunderguard is no longer turned to stone. He is no longer petrified. Um, also, uh, two of you, Father Manny and Theo Gradias, have uh, used a... Um, potion that you thought right. would uh, increase your health, but in fact, you were just glowing neon green. I forgot about that. <laughs> Are we still tripping balls right now, or have You're we? Not really tripping. You're just glowing green. But just yes. green, <laughs> and we're still glowing. You'll be glowing for 24 hours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh man. Okay. I so so Theo. Sorry, Sora has just come out, right of stone. He's just understanding. He doesn't understand what's going on, right? That's literally where we dropped off. Yep. And all he sees in front of him are his friends glowing green. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? What? Why? Why are you green? Boredom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's we not for us to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then he goes over to uh to, to theo and starts trying to to touch the green <laughs> like just try like oh oh wait, sorry left hand only left hand only <laughs> <laughs> uh do i feel anything do i feel the green like is there warmth uh i mean no he's just glowing green there's no <laughs> Different texture. It's just a glowing Theo. Okay. Okay. Uh, so so I, I turned to Mad Max. I'm like, what did you do? With your eyes. <laughs> I, I, I just 
gave them the potion. I thought this would work. What what potion? It was supposed to grant them more health and expediency. Did it work? So what is happening to them? Can you fix this? They're they're green. It'll, I'm sure it will be fine. So 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 sore goes back and goes. I haven't seen any potion effects that last more than twenty four hours. <laughs> All right, okay. And glass is off to the side, just kind of snickering to himself. Glad do he you, didn't drink his green. Do you have an apple? I I, I do. Yeah. Can I please have it? Sure. So no, sore goes and walks away before he finishes the sentence. Grabs it and lazes on the couch. Like when this passes, let me know. And he takes a bite out of his apple. Uh, actually, actually uh, uh, Sor, we, we're kind of on our way out. We have places to be. But you are green. I am not green. Uh, they are green. The two ah, of them yes. are green. Yes. I am not. Uh, you guys feeling okay? Or are you, are you like sick? Or are you just green? Yeah, I feel fine. I'm, I'm feeling great. And uh, I can't wait for the spirits of barlism to... Uh, <laughs> Tell me why I'm in this state right now. I'm, I trust in their ability to guide me in the right direction. Well, I can tell you're in that state because you drank a weird potion. But let's everybody get into the cart and we'll be on our way. Okay. Okay. Where are we going? What, what happened? Why are we in cave? We're not in a cave. We're at Mad Max's house. <laughs> I but, know. Uh... Why not? Uh, well, we were in a cave, mm. and then you got turned to stone. No and... stone. Yes, stone. Yes, yes, stone. <laughs> yes, stone for you. Yeah. Yes, stone. <laughs> yes, stone. But you're okay now. And you saved me. Yes. Thank you. And no, he sees like Ma the, the Mad, I see Mad Max just... saved you. He made a potion that Do saved I see you. The uh, the basilisk on like the table. <laughs> Is okay. it there? Is that is that it, Mike? Is uh, it in the room? The basilisk. Uh, you'll see one that's kind of mangled and destroyed, and there's another one that looks pretty pristine. Yeah, like he hasn't touched it yet. Yeah, he goes over to the basilisk and just goes, "No stone, no stone." <laughs> and glass and will walk away. glass will walk up behind him, just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh... And, and then it's like a, him out the door. Yeah, where where are we going? What uh, are we doing? We're, we're off to Magic City, I believe. Did anything happen when I was in stone? Uh, I found this beautiful globe-like creature in the cave that I've been nurturing lately. <laughs> in ethereal beauty, it's an egg. Yeah, father, father man became a papa. <laughs> and uh, an egg? Uh, what's inside the egg? I don't know, and I I truly hope it'll never hatch because in its current state it is perfect. <laughs> it's going to hatch. <laughs> this guy. I liked this guy better when he was a, a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Max, is there any way you can revert him to his, <laughs> his former state? Now, 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 Father uh, Manny gives you like I'm a sure big slap or something on the back. Now, now, now. So, did you do anything else when I was stone? How long have I been stone? Uh, like uh, just a just a, a an hour, just like an hour. Oh, yeah. Nope, a, nope, nope, nope. Nothing else Can happened. I do By the way, here's your here's your, your potions. <laughs> Can I do uh, an insight to his deception? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see here, buddy. Eleven <laughs> to Nat one. <laughs> to natural one. <laughs> Worst liar. <laughs> uh, so Sora gets like real close up to Glass, but then of course realizes that Glass is taller. But they're sitting in a cart, so can get real close up to the eye. And goes. It was not an hour. Then pulls in Father Manny. <laughs> How long? Uh, the time is not of importance now. What's important is that we continue on on our journey. We can't we can't squabble right now. We have wasted enough time getting you out of your stone state. 
pushes you half away, just like throws you as, like aside <laughs> the Theo Gratis. Careful, my egg. <laughs> my egg. How long? Oh. A day, maybe? A day? <laughs> <laughs> You would have spent most of it sitting on the couch doing nothing anyway, so. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Consider you, it this way. You're you now. During the day. What did I miss? What did you do? We waited for you, mostly. We slept, and uh... we did follow up on the on the mayor, the, the other posting. Okay. And? Did that work? Did you do it? Did you solve the? We're actually hoping to solve it on our way to Magic City. Ah. Yes. Great, great. Now, now Thor sits happily down eating an apple. Um, Neat. <laughs> great. Uh, Very I'm big. I'm going to tell him the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Theo. There's no reason to be deceitful, glass. Thor <laughs> 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 will remember that. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, is anyone riding the cart? I assume that Theo is driving. He seems to be our default driver at this point. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sure. So also, do our have, do our horses have names? Uh, you have not named them yet. <gasps> oh, that's a problem. One, okay, one is uh, is Charlie, and the other is Ed. I'm so, Mister Ed is like the. The the you know the, the famous horse right you guys know that right I just Mr. don't Ed. know what you're referencing Mr <laughs> Ed Mr Ed the athletics uh it's it's an old horse there okay and Uncle Charlie was another I think both okay. baseball things I believe so Sora's gonna call Ed Charlie get going <laughs> good. <laughs> I feel like we should call one Carlos Lee, since his nickname was El Caballo. Oh, all cool. right, there you go. So let's go, Ed. Let's go, Ed and and Carlos. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Um. All right. Oh, well, so well, as you guys head out, um, I'm gonna need a animal handling and survival check from Theo. I'm assuming he's still driving. Mm-hmm. I'm also going to shout out, like, I look my head out of the back of the car to go, Goodbye, Max. I enjoyed your eyes. Uh, Max is just going to wave at you and ignore the eye comment for the 15th time. <laughs> Poor Max. Okay, so I rolled an 8 and a 16. 8 for animal handling, 16 for survival. Uh, okay. Um... As you animal handling eight, I'm gonna need everyone to make a deck save. <laughs> we need to get better at this. Twenty-one. Ooh. Three. Um, Twenty-five. Uh, Nineteen. So glass, you fall off, <laughs> and you take four points of bludgeoning damage. Sora goes off. Oof. <sighs> I will attempt to hop back on without us having to slow down too much. Uh, okay, make um, either athletics or acrobatics, whichever one you want. All right. 14. Nine. Yep. You, you can uh, successfully jump back on as they're moving slowly. Good. I don't know how to stop it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Probably true. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, now we're on our way to Magic City. Are we stopping along the way for the uh, Postmaster thing? I don't know that we actually know where he is. But I think we need to go around and like ask around and see, kind of track him down. I think it might be more of a long-term thing. In yeah, Magic we'll be, City. We'll somewhere along this... Uh... You know the the road to Magic City was the last that he was seen. So I see. I that All right. So can I? Yes. So so can Sor go off to the uh, in the ride with um, ride with Theo at Not the front, and uh, <laughs> and on the other side and be like, 
Theo, we must look for 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 mail on the road. As Sora like, sticks out his head, being like, <laughs> "He's on it. Don't worry, guys. Got it. Uh, yeah, go for it. Sounds great. Okay, okay. We use our eyes. <laughs> yes, our eyes. Yes, yes. yes. Very important. Mm-hmm. Uh, not to distract you too much, Sora, but uh, one thing we were asked while you were out was uh, the name of our group. Mm. I proposed uh, journeyman relievers, but I'm not sure if you had any thoughts. Relievers. On that. <laughs> relievers. Oh, I would never like to be called a reliever. <laughs> and uh, what? <laughs> what would you propose as a uh, as a mm. replacement name? That is a very, very good question. Uh, the journeyman, the journeyman, I do like. I do like, but relievers just. Ooh. Well, that surprises me, considering how much. Uh, how many times you've decided to take some time for relief during our journey? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to do such max effort, you have to get a long period of rest in between. <laughs> Five yeah. days is what they used to say. I'm still waiting to see the max effort, but... <laughs> oh! My uh... God! <laughs> I see. I-, I see, Father Manny. I will show you max effort. When my arm is back, <laughs> you shall see. Um, I will. I will think on this name. Yes, I will please. think. Journeyman relievers. Journeyman. Yes. Sleep Maybe on it. Some... Yes. Continually. Oh, I show sure every day. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Mm. We need like one of those like Indiana Jones maps where like it follows us along the thing. <laughs> oh yeah! Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So do we see anything on the road, Mike? Uh, so as you travel um, for the first day, because it is a two, three, four, five, six. It's a week-long trip to Magic City. Ooh. Okay. Bit of a hike. A little bit. A little bit. Um, on your first day, uh, is anyone doing being like a lookout? I think that's oh. sore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sore is. Okay. I'm going to need a perception check from sore. And he is, he is, he is, pers- you know, he is really trying his best. <laughs> Max you, so that's an advantage because Theo's there. <laughs> because Because uh, both Theo and I are at the front. We're both doing this. But if only you are looking out, that is not advantage. What is he doing? Closing his eyes? With his, with his? He tried really hard to drive the horses. Because he has no really bad at it. Apparently. He's not good at driving horses. No. Uh, yes. So. Um, I wish I had Mad Max's eyes. <laughs> it's uh, my four, four. My four perception. So, Sor, you will look around. Um, you're kind of still getting used to not being made of stone. Um you keep looking around you're like hey i'm moving this is it's cool. like it's like han solo coming back from carbon yeah 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 someone Hot tells you boba fett you like boba fett where boba fett i'm mm. not sure of course of course <laughs> God bless. Um, yeah um you don't see much um but as you guys travel you are so you pass the uh cave where you killed the basilisks and where you found the arrow um, as you continue going, you're getting closer to mountains. Uh, if you look out, so on the left-hand side, as mountain ranges begin to grow, on the right side is not not like a thick forest, but woods. Um, there are some patches where it's kind of clear, uh, but for the most part, you're traveling with uh, trees on the right, mountains on the left. Okay. Okay. He turns to uh, to Thea and goes, "There are trees on the right and mountains on the left." That is that is, is a fair observation, Sork. Good job. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Um. That wow. is all. <laughs> Excellent. Pretty much well done. To our C's. Um. Well done. I guess, given that report, we should maybe you know. 
all of us to keep a better eye out of for things. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's not a bad call. <laughs> <laughs> Would Glass uh, be able to... Uh... Uh, Glass could also look out for things. I need uh, another perception check. <laughs> given that report with glass uh, so better. given 16. the report that you have mountains on your left and <laughs> trees on your right <laughs> uh, glass is going to look out and um, he's going to notice something in the sky it is uh, a rather large bird um, and it appears to be uh, an oreo no, uh, circling uh, a certain area city. up ahead on the road. Ooh, that is always an ill omen. Can uh, I can I see up ahead on the road the area it's circling? Uh, it's still too far for you to see the area circling because you're looking up in the sky and you see it. Sure. Um, but like the general from your map and the general direction you're heading, you can tell it's pretty close to where the road is okay uh glass will just kind of turn to theo and say uh watch yourself up ahead we uh looks like there might be a bit of roadkill uh that we're gonna be you want to avoid all right and we'll keep an eye out for it and glass will just kind of try and mark the spot you know and see mm -hmm. if keep an eye on where he believes We'll run into whatever that is. As if roadkill could slow down Theo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, so as you continue getting closer, um, uh, why don't you make a nature check for me? Me? Yeah. Okay. 14. Okay. So you see that this bird is not one of the scavenger variety hmm. it is more it more looks like it's as it's circling it's in a it's in a surveil like a protective surveillance mode interesting okay how much further ahead of us is it uh traveling at your pace about an hour okay so it's still a long ways off, yeah. distance-wise. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to continue keeping an eye on it. See if it, um, see if it like spots us and redirects its circling or anything along those lines. Okay. But otherwise, no further action at this point. I don't think. If that's right. Mm-hmm. Cool. Tokyo. Okay. Keep going. Uh, so as you guys keep going, I'm gonna need another um, mill handling check from Theo. Well, I believe in you. I know your favorite role. <laughs> <laughs> Did we determine that none of the four of us are proficient in either animal handling or yeah. um, survival? survival? No, <laughs> that's awesome. That's what, so no like one that. is. What is that? Wisdom. I mean, well, I guess I get two in animal in wisdom. So I have like a two in it in wisdom. Uh, two bonus or whatever it is. You know, so maybe that's why we did it. I don't know. I just was rolling well at the time. I think <laughs> so. I just got stuck with the job. <laughs> You're just the best. Well, that, that is, is great. A great uh, yeah, natural a 20. 20. 20. Uh, hey. yeah. uh, you have a lot of control. Oh, I didn't need the survival, just the animal handling. Okay. So, yeah, you have a lot of control of these horses. So, as you're going, you're taking natural. the cart. You're really focusing on the fact that, you know, you said you're the greatest. You really got to show you're the greatest. Mm. Horses um, love you. And you take these horses and you're going through this rocky road like like it's paved. Not not a worry in the world. Excellent. Well done, mate. Yes, yeah, very nice, Theo. I'm, I'm still caressing the egg at this point. <laughs> Bring the praise on. I, I understand. But nice I'm and gentle. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, yes. 
Keep on keeping on. Yeah, and I, again, Glass just kind of keeping an eye on the bird because it seems to be the most interesting thing on the road at this point. And Sora is, of course, looking out for mail intently. Have you shared, uh, Austin uh, or Glass, have you shared that information with the rest of us? I mean, I, I kind of pointed it out originally, okay. um, but I didn't like specifically share that I don't think it's a carrion bird. Gotcha. Okay. Not because Glass isn't sh quite sure what to think at this point, and so doesn't want to. Glass doesn't want to like spook everyone, but is just going to keep an eye on it. And if the situation begins to change, then we'll uh, update further. Yeah, like, right, right. Like a bird could scare Theo. Yeah, it's a bird. So Not a big deal. As you're continuing going a little closer, you do uh, give me one more nature check. Sure. Uh, I accidentally rolled two, but the first one was a natural 20. There you go. Um, you realize that this is, in fact, um, a giant eagle, and it appears oh, to be wow. protecting its nest. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a different story. And it seems like it's circling near the road. It, it appears that the nest, you have a net 20, uh, is like just off the side of the road. Okie dokie. Is gotcha. there, is there any, have we seen any kind of alternate, alternate route at this point to take the cart? Uh, you do not. Hmm. Okay. I must say, as I'm quite fond of this egg, uh, the prospect of adding additional eggs is quite enticing. And I will say <laughs> no. that we probably shouldn't mess with giant eagles because they're giant and also eagles. So yes, I had I had people that were fans, well, hmm, they loved my clan of Lagany, but they apparently all hated eagles a lot too. For some reason I didn't understand. I I I, I'd have no qualms with the eagles. Well yep. done. Well, it may, if possible, we may just want to steer clear, but otherwise, let's just uh, let's do our best to avoid conflict if we can. We're only on the first day of a week-long trip here. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> On what? See, it says live and let live. <laughs> So I guess we're going to, if if possible, we'll right. look for some kind of alternative route. Um, uh, okay. Make a survival roll. Okay. Class, 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 class. Oh! Natural 20. 20. That. Oh. Nice. Go. Fire. Okay. Uh, so you do happen to find... Uh, as you're looking about, you do see uh, another path that is, I guess, closer within the mountains. Okay. Um, it looks like it's uh, it's going to cut through the mountains a bit, um, but it does look like it would avoid where the eagle nest is. And does it look like, from what I can see, does it look like we'd be able to get the cart through there fairly reasonably uh with some successful animal handling checks you should be able to get it through okay, okay. so glass will kind of point that out to theo and say uh, looks like we may be able to cut up through the mountains to avoid the, the uh nesting area maybe uh, maybe a worthwhile detour let me give it a shot if you are let's uh let's give it a chance Okay. okay. Animal handling. I need an animal handling check. Yes. Oh, hey, all right. Fourteen. Okay. Um. So, as you try to get the horses through this narrow path that is no longer a road, uh, they do seem rather resistant, but with some time and effort, uh, it takes a little longer than you would have liked. Uh, but you do get through the pass, and you end up back on the road 
it is now nighttime, uh, but you do see the road again. Um, and as you look up, um, you guys see that the eagles, well, it's night, you can't see them, but you hear the eagles uh, behind you, so you have successfully passed them. Nice. nice. Well done. Yeah. Should we uh, should we camp for the night, or do we want to continue on for a little longer? Or do we want to double back for the eggs? <laughs> also, an option that we could do. But no. Um, ah. Do we know anything about this area, like in, in terms of like whether or not there are like say bandits or anything that we need to be cautious about at night? Um, if we can continue traveling, or whether we, you know, like anything we know about the area. Especially if we're getting uh, close to the city. Make a survival check for me. Are they still green? Uh, they are still green. So we actually are shedding a little bit of light. <laughs> a light green or... glow on the front of our <laughs> front of our wagon. Does that improve uh, our uh, perception? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Okay. The only thing you do know is that you are in the wild, no longer in civilization. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. Um. You know it's night. Um. I mean, it would make some sense to probably make camp, but I also am willing to plow on if we think we need to keep moving. Uh, if it's late, yeah, let's let's sort of say I was in stone for a while, yet I still feel weak. Maybe good to take a, a very long nap. What have you been doing Reasonable. in the back of the whole time? <laughs> oh, long, <that's> right. <laughs> long nap. I'm looking for male helping. So it helps. Good job. Thank no. you. <laughs> well, all right. Can we uh, see if we can find a place to pull the cart over and uh, see if we can get a get get some kind of camp set up here? Uh, yep, whoever is looking for a place to set up camp, give me a survival check. I guess I can roll. I got 16. It's not nice. bad. Nicely done. You find, um, so there's a little clearing within the trees on the right side. Um, that looks like it would be a, a, a good spot to set up camp that has a little bit of shelter from the road in case anyone comes, comes through. Nice. And Glass kind of pointed out to Theo and say, "Why don't we, uh, why don't we pull our cart over to the side here? Looks like we might have a nice little clearing, keep everything a bit, a bit uh, quiet, and hopefully it'll be an uneventful evening." Seems good a place as any. Sounds wonderful. Yes, like, this is nice. Um, if we could maybe cut down on how long we're resting for, like if we could uh, reduce the delay between our travels. In some way, I think that would be preferable. I'd like to, you know, keep things going, moving along. Not, no not a, not a fan of uh, delaying the, the uh, progress here, are you? No, not at all. In fact, if we could set some kind of timer, perhaps, for when we can resume. Honestly, I, I think that is reasonable. Uh, let's say when the. Uh, when the great shiny orb in the sky comes back up, we get yes. going. The moon. Absolutely. Other one, the, the bigger <laughs> one. Brighter one. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Of course, of course, the stars. Good job, buddy. Yep. Close. Yes. Can That's can nice. Soar look up at the sky at night as everyone uh, sets up for camp? Sure. Looking for, for anything special in the sky? Okay. Um, anything in particular? Shooting stars. Okay. Go ahead. How do I do that? Um, <laughs> That's a good question. Perception? perception? Yep. Oh, no. No shooting stars. So, as we get camp uh, set up... You look up in the sky, you see, you know, darkness sky she stars uh can't really make out what they are just looks like the nighttime to you 
Sora, Sora points up at the sky and goes, Glass! You see that constellation there? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah. Do you know what it's called? Honestly, Glass probably would know since he is a seafarer. I don't know what okay. you're going for, but he probably would know. Okay. Um, so, okay. <laughs> Seems um, reasonable. Good, because I don't know. Is that a constellation? I don't know. Uh, so, Glass, <laughs> as you look up, you realize that Soar is pointing to one star. Uh, and is asking what that one star is as a constellation. So, clearly, it is not one. <laughs> You said yes. You said you knew it. I I do. That, that is what we like to call one star. Just just the one, buddy. It's it's just the the one star. The one star. The one star. But I am the only star. What? That you know there's at least one other star around here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm both awesome, great at everything, and I glow. Mm. So I is it a, is it a superstar? Is it an, is it all stars? It's. I mean, it it does not represent all of the stars. No. Uh, mm. Among the stars, it is known as fairly popular as it is the one star. Why, why so is you, it you the could, one star? There are more than one star. There are more than one. one. But you see, the one you just pointed at happens to be one of the uh, most particular stars as it is one that is said to sit directly above the highest point on the Earth. Mm. Not that star? This star? Uh, no, the, the, the one, that one? I don't know anything yes. about that star. That's that star is just garbage. That's a garbage star right there. But the one you pointed at first, it's the one star, buddy. That's the one star. One the star. one. I would like to point out that stars are balls of gas, lending further credence to the idea that ballism is within and among all of us throughout the galaxy. How do you galaxy. know this? How do you know this? I feel it in my bones. <laughs> As we set up camp, <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. Are there, are there like particular entry points to our little clearing? I assume there's one that's kind of off the road sort of thing. Where uh, we part in. So based on like the um, layout of the trees, uh, there's really one path where anything rather large or a large group can go through. The rest, there are trees that obviously individuals can pass through, but there's if you're talking about anything large coming through, there's really only one way in. Okay. That one way, I'm going to take some of my fishing line and I'm going to tie it off towards the bottom of the tree um, and string a bell or two onto it, string it across the gap there, tie it to another tree just so we have a little alarm system going so that if anything does pass through, uh, we'll hear a little ding a ding a ding Now, now Glass, uh, did you just string a bell on the wire? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yes. Smart. Good show. Good show, Glass. Wonderful to see. <laughs> Bye. Uh, Glass, can you Dude. roll me a sleight of hand? Just I can absolutely. I I can oh, I can do man. that. Eleven. Oh, I could help myself. <laughs> so you tie up the bell. Um, it's really simply nice and taut. Uh, you think it works? Brilliant. And uh, Glass will just kind of go to everyone else, and uh, as we finish getting camp set up, I'll say. Uh, so, uh, who's going to be taking first watch this evening? I assume we don't want to all sleep at the same time. Um, as you ask yeah, this question, sure. Sor has already climbed into his little place to sleep. I take it it won't be the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, take I'll keep watch. a lookout. Oh. Ooh. I'll, I'll, I'll vote. Vote. Yes. I'd like to contribute to the group, so I'll I'll keep lookout while you gentlemen rest. 
most appreciated. Uh, uh, feel free to uh, feel free to wake me halfway through the evening, and I I'd be happy to take over for you. Okay, will do. So, how are you breaking up your watches? It sounds like Father Manny will take the first half of the night, and Glass will take the second half. Right. So four hours each. Oh, uh, is that enough? To, is that enough to get a long rest still? Not for you two. So the best way to do it would be. I think you need three of 12, you. Twelve hours of sleep. So that's four and four eight. Yeah. All right. So some people, someone watches for four okay. hours, then. Yeah. So so if you have three shifts of four hours each. You could each get eight hours. Then okay. Then yeah, I'll just. Or defer. alternatively, what we could do wake is up sore. Still do the, do, we could do two. the. We could still just do the two four-hour shifts, and then uh, Manny and Father Manny and Glass could just sleep in the cart for the remainder of the morning, while we are rolling down the road. That's that could work. All right, that's cool with me. Let's do that. that. Okay. So okay. Who, who's uh, up first? Is it me? Yes. Okay. It is. Uh, Father Man, are you sitting anywhere specific? Like, how how, how are you spending your watch? Um, well, I've taken out my egg to pass the time, so I'm, I'm just kind of caressing and gazing longingly at that kind of switching my gaze between the egg and the glowing bright moon up in the sky and the single star that uh, has been talked about previously. The <laughs> own star. Okay. Uh, I need you to roll one star. a perception check for me. All right. Fourteen. Okay. Um, as you sit through the night, um, so you hear those eagles in the distance, um, you hear the sound of, you know, everyday wildlife, but nothing really seems to be approaching the camp. And, uh, you spend your four hours going back and forth between staring at your egg looking at the sky keeping your ears pierced for anything and uh it's uh, besides that it's relatively quiet all right all right glass time to wake up wakey wakey <laughs> wakey right, wakey glass, <laughs> glass will uh <sighs> Lovely. Uh, Glass will get himself up and uh, prepare for a few hours of sitting around doing not much. Okay. Uh, I need a perception check from you. Okay. Just a moment here. My page decided it needed to refresh. Ah, here we go. Wonderful. 21. Uh, so you're there. You're listening for everything. You got your ears perched up, look, waiting to hear the sound of the bell. Uh, you hear the eagles in the distance. It doesn't sound any different. Um, but they don't sound like they're coming in closer. Uh, you do hear um, someone come on the road, um, but they appear to just be passing right by you. Uh, you hear... Roll the 21. You hear um, also in the distance further in the woods what sounds like a pack of wolves hunting. But they appear to be moving um, like parallel to the road. So not really in a direction closer to you, but staying a, a, like a, a distance away. Okay. Nothing too concerning then. Just kind of, I'll keep to myself, try and stay quiet, not, so not to attract any attention while the, everyone sleeps. Just make sure we're not uh, snuck up, up, snuck up upon. Yep. 
Uh, so you finish your four-hour watch. Uh, Soar and Theo, you guys can wake up. Um, Soar Manny. wakes up with a large, like, uh, Hi. <laughs> Morning. Anything happen? Mm, nothing eventful. We, uh, it was dark. There. Yes. The egg That's is about. fine. Uh, glass, Father glass Manny, stairs. Still and... asleep because you have to finish your long mm. Oh, okay. Glass stares intent. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, Sora stares intently at glass. It's probably an inside check. <laughs> <laughs> it's an eight. Not quite sure what you're looking for. Because he doesn't know I'm just not, to see if he's I'm telling the lying. truth. Yeah, he doesn't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I am being honest. <laughs> eight. So as as you look at glass, you still can't figure out the all the mannerisms of Goliaths. Uh, you think Sorry. he's telling the truth. You can't really tell. He, he's he seems normal for all you know. Sure. Nice. Easy night. Good night. Good. Good. Lone Star. At, at one. Yep. Lone That's Star. Yes. Yep. Lone Star. Okie dokie. Okay, okay. Sure. Yeah. Like, Synonyms. Good job. Like, like, like Jim, like, uh, like, uh, Bill Paxton. Lone Star. It's Bill Pullman, not Bill Paxton. Thank you. Man. I knew that was wrong. <laughs> I knew that was wrong. I was like, like, oh. I was like who's Bill Paxton? Oh. All right. Well, Glass will help clean up camp, kind of get Father Manny into the cart, and get all the uh, horses all put together and hitched up and stuff. We'll get, we'll try to. He'll, Glass will collect his little tripwire and uh, we'll be on our way with a sleepy couple of sleepy clerics in the back of the cart. Oh, yeah. So those clerics, huh? So sleepy. They're very tired. But they can block, so we can sleep. So, you know, seems fair. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah, Father Manny and Glass are sleeping in the back of the cart. Mm hmm. Okay. Theo. Who is the best yes. watcher? We are. We watch best. Oh. Yeah, for sure. Definitely <laughs> us. So, so let's let's watch best. <laughs> I'm on it. All right. I know you got it. Together. <laughs> together we yes, watch right. best. <laughs> together indeed. Okay. Onward. All right. Nice. So, you guys are all on your way. Uh, Theo is driving. So, I'll put you in the front here. <laughs> and Glass um, and Sora's up there with you. Sora just looks confused studying his own Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what he's doing at the front. Just So, you're watching the hammer. <laughs> But then, I mean, and then, right, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, as you guys start heading up the road, um, is anyone keeping an eye out? Yes, we are both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, then a perception check. I could either do one from each of you or one of you with advantage. You go ahead, Theo, with advantage. 14. Okay. Uh, so you're keeping uh, vigilant. I oh, I also need your animal handling and survival checks. Damn. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> so close. Oh. Wonderful. And survival? Do you need that one too? Yep, survival as well. Oh God! This is not a restful sleep. <laughs> um, oh. I'm gonna need a deck save from. You two and the two sleeping in the back, you guys automatically fail and fall out of the thing. Uh, Soar, you stay on. Um, Theo, you're good. And the other two that fall out, you take... I almost typed in the wrong number. Uh, two points of bludgeoning damage and you fall out of the cart. Uh, I look at, look at Theo and go... 
clerics. <laughs> Can't stay in the wagon. Yeah. So he goes ah. out and he and he, you know, he pulls him up with his strength of one arm, which is totally fine. I am a big man. <laughs> and what you're he, uh, he Sore's fine. I'm gonna need an athletics check Sor, to lift him. Sore's fine. <laughs> Glass would definitely have woken up from taking two points of damage and being jolted out of a cart. Yeah, did we wake uh, up? You guys can wake up and just crawl back in the wagon and go back to sleep. But Sora's still going to try to bring Glass in. Sora's going to try, and he's not going to be able to lift Glass. No. So then so then, do I, like, I like, I want to slap him awake. <laughs> uh, so, like, get up. <laughs> I know. He has big, wide eyes as you oh. try to lift him. Oh, I know. He's still going to try and slap him awake. <laughs> Can I do an unarmed roll to hit? Uh, sure. <laughs> so, so what is that? Strength. It's a strength. It's a 1d20 plus proficiency plus strength. <laughs> Imagine if you kill him. Nat no, one. Natural not, one. Nope, not an unskilled strength. Well, a nat one I'll take anyway. But Yeah, yeah, nat one. It's a nat one. But, so you miss. Yeah, yeah. But, but then he wakes up. <laughs> he's awake, I see, after that, right? He is awake, yes. Yeah, I... I, uh, so, I uh, what? I, uh, for multiple questions. <laughs> the wind. The wind of the slap. I needed you to be here. Why am I no longer in the cart? Yes, 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 yes. Well, you you that's a question. It. Just I get in the cart. I, uh, uh, why are you no, hitting me? No, no, I needed you awake. Did not hit you. Did not hit you. You tried to hit me. No, I needed the wind to go. <laughs> you wish give you, give you the the energy you needed to really take in the scenario that you fell out of the cart. It's a bumpy road, Glass, and you're made of something that might not be a good thing for you to be taking <laughs> falls like this. So you know, I'm not actually like. Sure, 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 sure. That's just, just, just get in the cart. My name. It's just my name. Yes, Mr. Glass. Get in the cart. Glass is going to get in the cart and attempt to tie a rope around his waist <laughs> to stay in the <laughs> cart at this point. It's going to be too fair. Uh, give me a sleight of hand. Because, man, that was unpleasant. <laughs> oh, Natural wow, 20. You are tied in there. <laughs> wow. I am I am not going anywhere for a bit. I am going back to sleep. Thank you very much. So you guys <laughs> get back in your the part. cart. Uh, Glass ties himself in. Um, Father Manny is back in there. Uh, you guys go on for about um, for another four hours or so. Father Manny and Glass, you can wake up from your long rest. Um, I'm going to need another uh, good, perception good. check from Theo. I have advantage. With advantage, yes. Upon waking up, Glass will no longer... Glass mm -hmm. will untie himself and uh, just kind of chill. So, yeah, cool. as you are coming down the road, you see... Um, 14. Uh, you see a uh, a large gray humanoid type thing. Not a Goliath. Um, ahead of you, uh, he looks like he is standing. He looks like he is uh, blocking the road. He's not on the road, but he looks like he has some sort of, you know, checkpoint or something on the road and i will bring you to the map to show you ah oops the oh, map. boy excellent oops, hold on a second yes now do we know about like do we have a map of the world right we do yes. each of us do so we know that there is devil city also to the to the west mm -hmm. yes No. Well, he does well, not look like a very, um, I no. guess, uh, civilized humanoid. 
Uh, I need to do this. Is he holding any weapons, anything like that that I might see? Uh, yes, he is holding a great club. Does he okay. appear to be larger than glass? Um, he's a, a similar size. He's he's larger, but not so much. Like he's still medium sized, but he is on the large end of medium size. I uh, this is not a cave, right? What? This is up here in the north. Um I don't know. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Soar is going to look to his left. Why don't you roll me a perception yeah. check and I'll Okay. Tell Good. All right. <laughs> I didn't know if it like it was you had finished it or not. <laughs> uh I just need a higher perception check for that. Yes, Sor, you see a cave. Ah, <laughs> okay. So, so Sor says, "There's a cave here. I don't know what is behind this rock." So I'm curious, like, is there something here and here, ready this to a... ambush? I... So well, be I... careful. I am going in the cave. Oh, we're we're moving right now. You know, you're gonna jump out of the cart. Yes, Sor <laughs> jumps out of the cart. Uh, okay, I need an <laughs> athletics check. I see a cave. I want to go in. Uh, Sora jumps out of the moving cart. Uh, Tucks and rolls. <laughs> I'm going to need a deck save from you. It's not that fast. It's about to hit a rock. I need a deck save I'm from going, you. I'm going. I'm <laughs> going. <laughs> Uh, oh, Soar jumps out of the, oh, what? the moving cart. Um, he finds a way to not get hurt, but he is now knocked prone. Okay. <laughs> um, as you do, the gray creature will turn to you guys and he will say, Halt! This is ogre territory. Uh Sor stands up and says, okay, we're not ogres, but we don't want to face ogres. Um, excuse me, uh, uh, Savage, uh, what is it no. you require for uh, us to, to pass? No. What would you like? We have some trinkets no. that may uh, capture your attention, perhaps. Savage. And uh, glass, will, yeah, glass, will, <laughs> glass will pipe up at this point, and uh, in giant, glass glass will say, uh, uh, "Apologies uh, for my friend here. He's uh, not accustomed to men of our large stature and superior strength." Uh, he will answer back in giant. <laughs> Most tiny people are stupid. Ten tends to be the way. Yes, uh, we simply wish to pass through. May may we continue on our way down the road? Sore shouts, uh, "What's in the cave?" Really loudly. What's in the cave? <laughs> uh, so first, he's gonna answer glass. He's gonna be like, in giant. He's gonna say, "You need to pay the toll." And then he's gonna turn to Sore and be like. You do not want to go in there. Why? <laughs> uh, people who go in there do not come back out. What's in there? Death. <laughs> well, that's vague. And he um and I, I he goes to turns to glass and like says, "Do light thing." Uh. One one moment, glass. Do uh, light one, thing. One, one moment, oh, glass. I mean, Very good. Really want to this guy and like yank on his head to see if he's wearing a Scooby Doo mask oh. or something. <laughs> like the guy in every Scooby Doo episode at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> Turn around, <laughs> Manny, <laughs> Father Manny, light thing. Uh, light. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're referring to, Saw. You made uh, the rock turn light through to uh, the hammer. I think you're overthinking this. Uh, uh, savage, Savage, uh, what, do you, what do you think of this here trinket I, I purchased in National City? It's, a, it's, a, it's called a ball. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? It's very colorful. Uh, 
as you call him Savage again, God he's going to take out his javelin. Whoa. And he's going to say, Whoa. I Whoa. am Savage. Pay the toll or die. What, uh, what, you didn't tell us what the toll is what yet. What is the toll? <laughs> the toll. You can't pay it if you don't know what it is. The toll is 2,000 gold. <laughs> You're just upset you gave us. Two twelve fifty 1250 each. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Glass will once again like, like try to pipe down both Soar and Father Manny simultaneously, like waving them off and trying to speak over them. Uh, and again, in Giant, he'll say, uh, and, and would that be uh, 2,000 gold for our uh, just the cart and the four of us, or do you want 2,000 gold from each of us? Uh, because that uh, that may be a bit uh, a bit unreasonable if you if you do ask me. Uh, so as you say that, the ogre will look at you and he'll he'll start thinking. Uh, uh, 2,000 each. It uh, well here here's here's where we're at. We we could give you. 2,000 total because really there's only one cart but I don't think that my friends here have enough money to give you 2,000 each uh, uh. Huh. Savage what about this hat it's, it has a lot it. of nice colors on it doesn't that appeal to you um, look at the pretty that... colors he is going to throw a javelin at you. <laughs> Stepping as far away from Father. Um, <laughs> what's your AC? It is. Uh, who's doing so well? <laughs> 16. Uh, yeah, you're going to get hit for 10 piercing damage. <laughs> oh my God. Control initiative. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Before, can I, at the same time, uh, Sora is shouting into the cave. What is in here? Uh, uh, as you yell in there, you hear movement inside. You don't see anything because you do not have dark vision, but you definitely mm. hear creatures moving in there. Okay, so he, he takes four. two steps back. <laughs> 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 and all right, now we're good. I got 15 on my initiative there. I I tried to roll initially and forgot that you had to select mm. your character. Not 20. 22. Why don't you cast light on on hammer? We're in the daylight. Uh, Working, buddy. 22. Father Man. Can you just go, yes, yes, light. Uh, okay, I fine. I deleted who I didn't want to delete. Okay. Light. Light. <laughs> Theo got 50. Uh, Theo is 22. Okay, so Father Manny. All right, okay, now let's do this again. He rolled a 19 the first time. Okay. Theo, you're first. All right. So I guess. Um, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, move down into a line of sight with him, um, and uh, draw my short bow. I guess and start. Uh, actually, no. I'm sorry. I'm gonna move this way. This way I can move thirty feet, right? So five, yes. Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I use dash as my bonus action um, to move over here. Uh, um, as and you move there, let me just tell you. Yeah. You I warned y'all. I warned y'all. <laughs> oh, oh. You're in enough area. You see two more. Oh, no. I knew it. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. We gone poorly. Um, okay. And I guess I will not attack this one with my short bow and instead will attack this one with my rapier. Okay. Uh, 
14 does hit. And you do get sneak attack because you are one-on-one -on -one against him now that you're a swashbuckler. Excellent. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's cool. Very nice. Okay. So pretty um, much you always get sneak attack now. No. It's all the one-on-one. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's like uh, a ranged attack. Yeah, ranged attack is not going to get it unless there's someone within five feet. Right. Um, okay. Anything else? Uh, no. That's good. All right. We're good? Soar, you're up. All right. Go right here. Can give him... Is it fastball? Is it fastball? <laughs> <laughs> uh, of Darthan. Uh, oh, my Lord. fastball is going to miss. Well, that's stupid. That's all? Um, wait... Is it though? As um, hold on, hold on. Uh, Precision attack. There you go. Gonna use I use one of my superiority dice. Roll a d8. Which are d8s? Okay. Yeah. So it's twelve. Oh my lord. Twelve does hit. Oh. Hey. 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 <laughs> and I deal ten. You, you only, so the precision, the superiority die only adds to the attack roll, right? Not to the damage? Yeah, I believe so. Let me just check that. I have it here. Um, yeah. Just the attack roll. Okay. So for 10 damage. Yeah. Mm. Hi. That was a high one, though. I hit him right in the shoulder. Okay. You know? Anything else? And I say, you should cast light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ogres are gonna go. Uh, oh, good. Forty. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now, just so we're clear, we see that there isn't another one here, right? Correct. Okay. I knew there was one behind that rock. I knew it. Uh, it. Okay, so this first one is going to throw his javelin <laughs> again at Father Manny. Father Manny's going to be down before he does anything. That's <laughs> oh, so racist. Okay. Uh, what's your AC? Oh, no. 16. Okay, he's going to miss. That's oh, a good God. AC. Wow. <laughs> Uh, this one is going to attack with his great club. He's going to attack Soar. He's uh, going to try. What's your AC? Better. <laughs> I, I think it's 16. He's going to hit for 11 bludgeoning. Ooh. Oof. And then this next right. one's I'm going right. I'm to fine. attack I'm Theo. Fine. And he's going to miss. Yeah. Okay, okay. Glass, you're up. Yes, I am. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop off the cart. Yeah. So I'll hop off the cart and I am going to move over this way. Actually, I'm going to hop off that way so I can try. I want to be able to try and see all three of them. So if I get there, I could probably see all three, right? Uh, you can see all three, yes. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. No problem. All right. And. We have a spell coming. So we're going to go ahead at this point and cast a spell. You're right. As I pull it up here. I'm going to go ahead and cast Scorching Ray. Mm. Yeah, they got that low AC. That's, that's got to be a light You're cleric right? thing, right? It is a light cleric thing. You're about to set me on fire. <laughs> no, I'm about to set all of them on fire, though. Um, yeah, it's a 4d6. For each ray on a hit 2d6. 2d6. So it could be so a 6. I roll three, three wow. separate times. My first one is a 14. Okay. So it's a d20 plus my wisdom. That is. 
plus my. Oh no, uh, it's a, it doesn't. It's, a, it's a it's an attack roll, so it's not even. Oh, it's it, it, it it's right. D twenty plus my spell attack, so plus four for each. So the next two, and I can direct three separate uh, rays. I'm going to have. Uh, I'm going to aim two of them at this guy, and the other one will go to this guy. So the, we'll say so the you're first. Not going to hit the middle guy. I'm not going to hit this guy at all. I'm okay. My thought process there is I'm basically going to leave that guy for sore to have fun with. Okay. Okay, um, so roll, roll, uh, cast it two more times so I get the rolls and the damages for each. Uh, actually, do the spell oh, thing too. So do sure, okay. I'll just do the spell thing. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. And there's that one and one more. Okay. Nice. Uh, so the first two are going to hit the one to the right. Uh 14 hits, 22 hits, so a total of 16, 16 fire, points damage. Of fire damage. Let's go. Uh, and the next one was a 13 for four. That is also going to hit. Nice. Does it happen to be wearing anything particularly flammable? Maybe, maybe some hides or anything like that? Or maybe holding um, wooden clubs? They are wearing hide armor. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scorching Ray is such a good spell. Hold on. It's it's a fun one. The two uh the two new domain spells I got I'm pretty excited about. That's one of them. See, it it's just unfortunate because it doesn't say that. They catch on fire. Shucks. Well, next know, time for sure. Spells, spells usually say it. So, next time for sure. Well, uh, in that case, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's all I need to do with my turn. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Father Manny. Okay. Does consuming a health potion count as an action? Bonus action. Oh, okay. Um, in that case. I am going to cast Guiding Bolt Heck yeah. on this guy who's closest to me. Okay. And... Do that first or second level? Uh, first level. Ooh. 15 oh. radiant damage. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Is it is this what a true javelin is? <laughs> May that guiding bolt illuminate your savage mind. <laughs> and then with uh, my bonus action, I'll consume a health potion. Okay, uh, two d four plus two. Okay. Yeah, so in the top left there, John, if you just yeah, perfect. Did I get it? Ooh. Did not go well. You get four hit points. <laughs> four hit points. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> And but that'll be my turn. Theo, you're up. <laughs> All right. So, um, technically, the, to the guy on the right that attacked me, am I still one on one with him? Technically, uh, no, because he's, or is there? he's now a guy within five feet of him. Hmm. Is, is it within five feet of him or five feet of me? Uh, so for technically, your, it's both. For, I for just want to know where I'm moving I mean, to. It is all. both for your um, swashbuckler thing. Yeah, it's five feet from him. Mm -hmm. But for your to get sneak attack, um, just in general, it's if you have an ally five feet from you. So you could this so one. So if you attack, so if you attack that guy, you get sneak attack. Right, but not oh, this one. But not that one, correct? Gotcha. Okay. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use for a bonus action. I'm gonna call uh. You uh use disengage okay um and then that way i'm gonna move down here okay and then i'm gonna attack that guy no uh, go so. here go here why right then i have advantage then you both you don't if i go to the other place yeah because it's flanking okay sorry to meta that. sorry mike it's okay well. look you could be yelling at him during the Fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, no, go behind no, him. Go behind him. There you go. Okay. Now you have advantage. Yeah. I was trying to make sure the guy didn't come and attack me, but the other guy, but whatever. Yeah, you're good. 
Okay, so stabby stabby. With advantage, stabby. Did their did their hide armors burn off? Uh no, because if usually the spells mm. say when mm -hmm. um when things, things would catch, catch on, on fire. fire. Gotcha, so, cool. So for ten damage, that's definitely gonna hit. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did these guys? Uh, did these guys all have javelins? They do. Yes. Well, the guy who threw javelins at you no longer has any. They only have two each. Okay. Nice. Anything else, Theo? I don't know if the same thing okay. you do. Soar. Soar is going to uh, swing with the warhammer of Darthen at advantage. Luckily. Nice. Yeah, nice. nice. Okay. It's going to hit for seven. Seven. He's okay. going to do a second wind. Uh, do you mean action search? No, I mean second wind oh, bonus action. Heal? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I took 11 there. And then you get 11 hey. back. Hey. Okay. Hey, there you go. Now I'm going to action surge. Okay. We're going to do Boy. the party again, y'all. <laughs> uh, he's going to attack with the hammer of Darthen. Uh, 17 Ooh. for nine bludgeoning. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he's going to be like, yo, just, just these fastballs, baby. Just pummel the zone. <laughs> pummel the top of the zone. How's he looking, that one? Uh, not very good. Not ideal. Not ideal. Um, and uh, that. Um, oh, I could have done maybe a sweeper, but that's okay. I, uh, I can't. I think it's five. Let me just check. With this. Uh, yeah, within five feet. Okay. He actually, he is within five feet of the original target, and within my reach, though. It's not within my reach. Okay. Yes, within your reach as well. So if you were yep. one step over. Yes, but then I wouldn't have had advantage. Had go there, then move one step over, and then done your advantage that way, but whatever. But then I would be entering. Yeah, maybe you're right. You, you might be right. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Next it's time for sure. fine. I, all right. That is my turn as Sor laughs with glee. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you have enough to get there? Oops. That's a line. Sorry, guys. I, I, drew, a, that. I drew a squiggly line. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Never many. No. Never many. He's got at least half coverage up in up in the cart there. I'll give him half coverage. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's um, got the he's got the high ground. Yeah. <laughs> he's got the high ground, but he's first in Obi Wan. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. Really doesn't matter. Uh, so he's gonna attack. Father Manny, oh, God. Uh, he's going to miss. Uh, the next one, the one that's looking really rough, is going to attack Soar. He's going to miss. Oh, repost day. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I roll just like a normal attack now, right? Normal attack, yep. Uh, and you add your... Uh, Superiority die as well if it... To the okay. damage. Yep. Oh. Uh, 14 will hit. Um, and then a D8. Actually, a 20 will hit. So 13 total damage. Nice. Um, so as he swings his great club to hit you, mm. Soar is going to duck out of the way. And then what pitch you want to throw? Oh, I want to I want to do a change up right now because he didn't expect that. Uh, then Soar is just going to slowly just take his hammer, smack the ogre in the face, and kill him. Yeah, you gotta, oh, yeah, yeah, going yeah, down. Yeah. It's, I got you. Got to follow through down. Come over it. Okay. You know, finish it down. So it goes through the face, but like follow through goes down to his knees. You know. Well done. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one is going to try to attack Theo, and that one's gonna hit for eleven. <laughs> Glass, you are up. I certainly am. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to look to the guy over attacking Father Manny. I'm going to take a couple steps towards him and then aiming so that I don't, don't burn our cart here. I'm going to cast uh, Burning Hands. 
So I'm gonna 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 do the cone so that it misses both Father Manny and the cart, if possible. That's 15 feet. That's perfect, right there. Because it's 15 foot cone, right? Yes, it is. That's perfect, right there. Awesome. Okay. What's the save? It is a dexterity saving throw. I believe it at this point is DC 12, I think. Uh, I just, I, if you cast a spell, it should do it for I you. tried to cast it. I, oh, there we go. I'm being a little DC slow. There 12, it is. dex save, 11 damage. Half damage um, on success. Wow. Um, he rolled a 15. Ah, well. So he takes 5 damage. This one does notably say the fire ignites any flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. That aren't being worn or carried. Um, there is nothing flammable off, off of them. I disagree, but I will accept your incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> What is flammable? Uh, uh, you know, uh, stuff, things. Minecraft. Uh, lo- yeah. It says uh, that aren't being worn or carried. His armor is being worn. His weapons are being carried. I wish that it hadn't said those words. <laughs> <laughs> basically where, where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Glass is like after shooting a gout of flame at this guy and seeing his his loincloth and his uh, his wooden club not catch fire. Glass is like, huh? Well, uh, gotta burn better next time. I don't know. I don't know. Seems kind of weird. But yeah, that's uh, will. Uh, anything my... else? Is you're turning confusion on why he's not caught on fire. I <laughs> do not believe so. No, that will be my turn. Okay, Father Manny. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the Commissioner's Gavel as an attack. Okay. Time to make a ruling. Did that work? Um, that is going to miss. <sighs> um, all right. And then as a bonus action... I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon Ooh. and create Ooh. a second Spectral Gavel okay. <laughs> that I will cast. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I got you. I think it's... Is it 1d8? Give me one moment. I'll cast mine because I had also looked at that one. I don't remember if I picked uh, it right Where or do not. you want it? Um... I would like it to be floating like right to the right of this guy. Guy attacking you? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. See, I figured you would make like a mace, like a kind of morning star with a ball on the end of a chain. Yeah, that could oh, that could work. Uh, I'm all about enforcing judgments though, so. That's that's reasonable. It's reasonable. Uh, okay, so roll a d20 plus your spell attack bonus. Okay. Uh, so what's your spell attack bonus? Never mind, it's going to be enough. So you hit, <laughs> uh, so 1d8 plus your spell attack, uh, spell modifier, uh, which is wisdom. So 1d8 plus wisdom. Plus three. Okay. Heck yeah. Well done. All right, and that'll end my turn. Uh, roll a 1d8. Oh, sorry. There you go. So there two we go. Plus three. All right, all right, five. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Nicely done, Father Matty. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I like that he's also okay. holding down the cart so that so <laughs> we don't lose yeah, our reputation. Right. All right, so, uh, so potion, we said earlier, potions are bonus action, right? Bonus action for a healing potion, yes. Yep, so I'll take a healing potion. Okay. 2d4, two, right? 2d4 plus 2. Okay. I get 6 back. Okay. Nice. That helps. Hey, okay. a little bit, right? 
and then I will uh, I will attack back with my rapier. Okay. And he's one on one at this point. One on one, so you get sneak mm -hmm. attack again. Nice. And my weapons. Uh, 19 will hit for 13. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Ooh. How's it looking? Um, pretty bad. Not not the worst. Okay. Anything else? I don't know if I'm rolling that. I have the magical one. Oh. So that's my turn. Yeah. All right. Fought off it. <laughs> uh, seventeen will hit for seven. Nice. Um, and I uh, and, and that was that was like a good change up at the knees. Okay. Is that called strike? Yeah, how, how's, how's the guy looking? Um, Not great. Starting to look kind of bad. Can I do something else? Nope. Probably, probably not. No, I usually use my action surge. I, all right. And I'm like, well, that must have hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this one's going to attack Father Manny. Oh. Uh... I'll give you half cover. Heck yeah. Yes. He's still going to hit for 15 bludgeoning. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm out. See you guys later. <laughs> <You're unconscious. laughs> I think that's every every combat we've had. I'm unconscious. Um, and then this next one is going to hit Soar. Is it, though? It, no, he's not. Uh, <laughs> riposte. Riposte. Is that your last one? No. How many do you get? You get four. Oh, you get four. Okay, I thought you only wow. had three. Uh, Twelve is going to hit for 13 damage. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, 13 nope, plus right. six. Plus 19. Ooh. Yeah. And he, that is a curveball at its feet. He is looking terrible after that. What? Ooh. He's not done? <laughs> no, he's Still not. up? So he's a big boy. Ninth. Mm. Glass, mm. you were up. That I am. Uh, if you knew so, how close you were to killing him, you'd be more upset. So, yeah, because there's one, probably. First off, I'm going to do a quick uh, first level healing word for our good father to get him back on his feet. Always looking out for me. I do what I can. Uh, you get three HP. You're, you're conscious and you have three hit points. Yes. And then... I will uh, turn to the to his assailant, and I will uh, go up, and I'm gonna slash at him with my scimitar. Do, 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 do. Uh, Nineteen. That will hit. Nice. Furry slashing damage. Okay. Uh, Father Manny. All right. You thought you had me, didn't you, Savage? But I'm back. <laughs> oh I'm God. better than ever. I love that no one has told him not to say Savage yet. Several <laughs> <laughs> times not to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Sore won't. I'm trying to get into his head. I think at this point. <laughs> at this point. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast... Well, I can I can move and then cast a spell, right? I mean, Father Man is like uh, the racist you're one here. Within, um, um, uh, he'll get an attack opportunity if you move. Oh, okay. So I'll stay on my cart then. Cower on my cart, and I'll cast uh, Guiding Bolt once again. Okay. <laughs> uh, Seventeen will hit for fifteen damage. That's got to go down. That's Come on, right in the face. So close. Oh no! <laughs> um, oh, but if I have the uh, ghost gavel still out, do I? Can I attack with that you still? Do not, or, because once uh, you're down, it's gone. 
that's true. All right. All right, Theo Gradatas, you got this. All right. Back out of my rapier. Oof. Let's see rapier for 20 damage. My goodness. How do you yeah. want to do that? How do you want All to right. kill it? Yeah. With a flourish, I spin my rapier around my hand, turn, and with a roll, turn and stab upward into his chest. Oh. And the ogre falls dead. And as it's going down, you see Soar behind it, just staring at you, being like, oh. Think about it. Think about it. Anything else, Theo? You still have a bonus action and movement. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just kind of start moving. Uh, one, two, one, three, four. This way, I guess. So I'll go there. Okay. So are you're up. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to assume that I can't use a short bow. Why not? Because I have bow? one arm. Oh, good point. But, you, but you, your other arm, you could hold it. You just have the other. No, arm back. no, I can't do anything with that arm. Okay, then no I can't. I, for you. I can't I do that. You need to uh, I understand, but now I'm not going to allow it. Just I'm going to. I'm going to use my action to dash. Okay. And go right here, and Ooh. shout Whoa. at the ogre. <laughs> okay. To be like, <laughs> you better hit me. You know, like just, just, just <laughs> tackle him. Stop try Actually, he's going to say, "Stop trying to hit me and hit me." <laughs> okay. um, as you yell, uh, roll a intimidation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> 16. <laughs> yeah. He is going to turn and yes. go to attack you. Yes. Miss. Uh, he's going to hit for 12 bludgeoning. <laughs> oh. That's Come on. I wanted, I wanted, oh. <laughs> Well, he did what you asked Fine. him to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to, said to hit at you. Well, try. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. You're totally right. Okay. Yeah, better, better you than Father Manny. I know. Flash, <laughs> you're up. This is part of the thing, yes. I want that to I stay am. him dead. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let's see. What do I want to do here? I could just slash him again, I guess. Um... Yeah, I think that's that's what's gonna be going on here. I'm just gonna hack at him again with my scimitar. Do, 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 do. Uh, fourteen will hit for four. Take him down. I don't think so yet. Nope. Not, not a ton of damage there, but it's at least hey, something. Damage. Father Manny. All right. Time to lay down another judgment. So I'm going to lift my gavel high and strike. Advantage. 14. Only two blood. Oh, my God. You guys are doing so little damage. <laughs> These clerics are, are not. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> melee stuff here. Uh, anything else? Two clerics are like. <laughs> um, oh, I'm also going to take another health potion. Okay. Um, two two d four, right? Two d four plus four, plus, four. Two. plus two. two. Yeah, right. Sorry, I have it on the thing. Nice. Uh, yep. So seven. Seven. Get seven HP back. Nice. You have to like what? And now? Uh, but I don't think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am up to ten. Yeah. Hey, double digits, buddy. All right. Theo, you're up. All right. So, uh, I assume there's no. Yeah, I guess there's no angle that really improves my chances from here, so I'm just going to shoot it with my sharp bow. Uh, if you take one step up, he won't have... You could see him? Yeah. So, like, if I go that way? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, 23 hits for 14 damage. Mm -hmm. How do you want That's to... That's damage, folks. How do you want to do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Theo. Take a second. I start taking my aim with my bow. Take a second. Kind of go off my <laughs> hand here a little bit. And then I turn draw back. Let the arrow go. Put it right through his eye. Awesome. Oh. And with that, you guys are out of combat. Yes. 
I like, knew these I, savages couldn't be reasoned with. Why do you keep calling them savages? I, I really <laughs> want you to understand that I was definitely in the process of reasoning with them. Uh, no. Yes, yes. Uh, can we see what's in the cave now? Yeah, yeah, we let's I, I guess so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, oh, we we could let, let's let's wait a moment. We're already stopped as well. Let's sure. just wait a moment, just for an hour. Just re, just reclaim ourselves a little bit. While you wait an hour, Glass is gonna go over and cast light on his shield and check what's in the what's in, at least in the mouth of the cave. Well, all right. Okay. Uh, how far does the light go? Uh, twenty foot bright light and twenty foot beyond that a dim light. So forty feet. 40. I'm nearly positive. Me and Theo could walk in as human glow sticks if you guys want. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're not green no, you're not green, right? You're not green uh, anymore. You've yeah. You've slept it off. Um yes, 40 foot. I was right. Okay, uh just give me a moment. Take your time. But yeah, Scorching Ray, big fan. Yeah, that's a good, that's, that, was, that was awesome. Yeah. Being able to target up to three or shoot all three of the same guy, having that flexibility is super handy. Yeah. So as you look in the cave, hmm. It's odd that you see in the distance uh, what looks like trees and so, what um, somewhat tropical environment inside this cave. All right, so it's very large. So I gotta. That is odd. That is odd indeed. I will uh, <laughs> slowly walk in. I mean, I'm not. I'm not surprising anyone Wait. with a bright shiny shield. Wait, let's rest first. <laughs> Sora needs rest after performance. I'm just gonna check it out. It's I'm sure it's fine. No. I'll go I heard with things. I heard things. If there's anything if there's an issue, I'll come back out. It'll be fine. I don't trust Um me. so as you take a step in, you are gonna get hit with well, something's <laughs> gonna aim at you. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's fine. It's so poetic. I love it. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, fourteen. He is going to hit you with for six bludgeoning damage. As a, a rock comes flying out and hits you. Sora says, "See, see." Less fine than I expected, but not like a. Do I see what what hit me? Uh, you do not. It is in the darkness. Just, just all of a sudden, a rock. How, how big of a rock? Oh, very small rock. Like it was shot from a sling. Just, just domed me. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, see, it we, came rest. From, we rest. Hold on. It came from this direction. Okay. Can I see so anything like with here, my? Uh, it came from there. Can I see anything with my dark vision? Uh, you have dark vision. Yeah, I'm a half elf. Are you walking in there? Yeah, I'm walking in there. Okay. Are you doing so stealthily? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, sure, no doubt. Wait, and and the source say, "Don't go in. Wait, wait." Uh, okay. You're weak. And uh, how far is your dark vision? Be sixty feet. Uh, yeah, sixty feet. What is your passive perception here? Man, this place is huge. This is huge. Look at this. Oh, you guys have no idea. <laughs> I know. It's so huge. So as you walk in, you see... Like, huh? Mike makes that? Mike makes the, the super large campaigns for us. I figure it's monkeys. Those what? are not monkeys. You see kobolds. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, All right. Um... <laughs> I guess I'll follow everyone in, but I'm not himself. We wait, we rest, rest. We need rest. So I need rest. Um, okay. We don't have monkeys will still be here. 
We don't in have an hour. On our sheet at this point, yeah. Lucky's will still be here in an hour. We don't gain anything back in an hour. You short could, rest, we do. You could take a short rest and take your okay. dice. What if you oh, recover oh. sort of short rest? All my things. <laughs> but you guys could roll hit dice during short rest, so you can take health. But uh, all, all the things come back. <laughs> getting hit with that sling was the first time the glass has taken damage today. <laughs> None of them targeted me. I was kind of in the middle. Um, <sighs> we take rest. We take rest. Yeah, we'll, 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 I'll, I'll back out and uh, yeah, just All right, kind of, kind of glass, kind of post up and just kind of watch the mouth of the cave to make sure nothing is coming out. Ho trying to stay at a point where he's like not directly in line of the cave so he can't get hit with a rock again uh as you back out uh it doesn't sound like anyone's following you it just so sounds our, like so it goes into the cart they're in there okay taking a taking a short rest okay uh you guys can take a short rest you can roll any hit dice so that's a Sora six all his stuff back nope it should already add it yep you rolled a two. Oh man Oh my god. All right, I'll just take that then. Um, and then I get my stuff back. All right, right, all right, all right. Um, so I take eight, so that's 27. All right, that's fine. All right, I'm back um, in business. <laughs> Atta boy. Atta boy. <clears throat> so can we investigate? Also, the uh, the bodies of the ogres. Yes. Um, what are you looking for? Uh, anything of value. Anything of value. Okay. Go ahead and roll investigation. I'll let them handle <laughs> that while I watch the cave. By the way, uh, Sora will also ask about the arrow. Did you return arrow? Uh, yeah. That's that's how you got those three potions I gave you. Three potions? He opens his bag. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's good. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You all got three potions, right? Yep. Yes. Yes. But okay. if you're not going to use any, I could use a handful um, just based on past <laughs> experiences in battle. How many potions do you have left? Uh, one. Here's one. <laughs> oh, uh, thank so you. So after searching through the ogres, you do find 270 gold pieces. Dang. 270 gold. All right. 70. So that's... um. No, oh, Lord. All right. I'm just going to... Just I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, that's 67 each. Okay. Nice. Um, I can take that. Two of you guys take 68. I'll take 67. Father I'll Manny. Take, I'll take 68. Theo Grandis, <laughs> take 68. All right. Anything else found on the on them i wasn't looking i was watching the thing i'm just wondering uh sword did not find anything else cool all right well i yeah i didn't but who maybe you guys would what was uh what were theo and father manny doing during our hour short rest here uh i was just tending to my javelin wound yeah just tending to my wounds and just yeah uh up and get ready. Nice. All right. Well, does this my, our, does our this hour go by pretty uh, <clears throat> uneventfully? Uh, your hour goes by pretty uneventful. Um, as you're staring at the cave, nothing appears to be coming out. Um, it all seems. I mean, as you listen, you do hear the movement still inside, uh, but it doesn't seem like anyone's coming any closer. <laughs> um, uh, all right. This might be a good time to stop as we have this ridiculously large thing ahead of us now. No, let's get let's get yeah. right into it. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, so as much as I want to do all of that now, uh, we should probably stop now. Okay. I uh, could walk into the cave to find out what you're dealing with. Cobalts. I, 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 you you have some time to do that. Cobalts. Uh, Glass will turn to uh, Father Manny and say, uh, do you want to try to reason with them? You know, not calling them savages and see if they see if we can, you know, actually talk to these people. I don't know. There's some species that just can't be reasoned with. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right then. <laughs> that I mean, they they seem to uh, they 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 at least have a sling. They're not totally. Do I have any experience with kobolds? Am I? Um, I, I doubt it. You're a pirate. You probably saw them. Not. I mean, not like personal experience, but you know that kobolds, you know, are. They're fairly tiny intelligent. Little dragon worshipping lizard people who um lizard like people, not really lizard people, who yeah. uh, you know, they, they, they live in the dark and attack with slings and daggers. And I know they're 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 intelligent enough to, you know, speak and be reasoned with. Yes, yeah? yes. You could talk okay. to them. They they do they do speak common, they talk. I'll follow your lead, Glass. Okay, well I maybe you. maybe you don't need to do the reasoning if and glass will just kind of turn and shout into the dark cave uh uh hello um we we mean you no harm uh we we we, we just want to we don't want to talk and we were we were hoping to uh discuss your 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 ogre friends uh or or Maybe ogre captors. I'm not quite sure what your relationship with these ogres uh, is was. Uh, you do not hear an answer. <laughs> uh, my name is Glass. Do you have a, a a leader among you that would care to would care to speak? No answer. <laughs> I'm going to light my shield up again. Okay. And I'm going to like be very huddled behind it, trying not to get hit in the head with a rock. And uh, definitely gonna have. Scoop, and I'm and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly enter. Please don't hit me with the rock. I don't I don't want to hurt any of you, and I don't want you to hurt me. I'd like to enter behind him out of the light and try and stay in stealth. Like or all persuasion. Glass is not a talker. <laughs> I'm not sure why we put Glass in. <laughs> 17. Nicely done. Okay. Um, so as you approach... Oh, okay, let's move all you guys in there. As I approach, I get hit with 20 rocks. Because yeah, right. they've had an hour to As prepare. you approach, you just straight up die. <laughs> <laughs> a rock slide just collapses. I am glass is crushed and broken. So as you approach, um, you see 20. So this one will approach a little bit. And uh, let's see, you actually no longer... See these guys. Uh, this one will probably be like, and he'll just be like, "I think you should leave." Source, source shouts really loudly. We don't want to hurt you, but if you attack, bad things will happen. This is the home of our master. Leave, or uh, we will be forced to fight. Who, uh, who, who is who is your master? Can I do intimidation for Sora shouting those threats? Um, sure. Let's go. Intimidation. 21. Woo. Um, okay. <laughs> well, what exactly was your threat? Uh, I... <clears throat> 
Do not attack us or you will seriously regret it. Like that. Uh, That's how bad it was. <laughs> um, the, uh... So you see, as you shout that, he does seem a little scared. He's going to take a little step back closer to the shadows. And he'll just say, our master will protect us. And Glass will pipe up. Uh, who is who is your master? Do you uh, do you, do you mean the ogres? No, no, no. What? No, we do not care about what happens outside of this cave. Oh, so you like you, you got? Do you know those guys? Are they they friends of yours? He's just gonna look at you very confused. <laughs> Oh, there are three dead ogres outside that stopped us and didn't seem to like us very much. I just kind of assumed they were connected to the cave. I'm sorry if uh, that was cavist of me. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I Sorry. <laughs> no, no, we have no relation to any ogres. Great. Good. Hey, uh, what do you guys think of this? And Father Manny throws one of his balls at the feet of the kobold. Uh, as you throw the ball at the feet, he is going to uh, run back into the shadows because that scared him. And you will hear the shuffling of many feet and the um, uh, the sound of, you know, people acting like they're getting ready for a fight. Oh, man. I, I am going to... Thor <laughs> is going to demand you guys cast light on his Warhammer. Currently, light is cast on my shield, and I am going to use Thaumaturgy okay. to make my voice boom up to three times as loud as normal for one minute. Okay. And... I'm just going to boomingly shout, we mean you no harm. We are simple travelers. We simply wish to communicate and see if there's anything that we could do for you. Um, you will hear in a very shaky voice, get out. <laughs> One, one more, uh, quick. It's still booming. <laughs> what a uh, quick uh, question. Do you, you guys, uh, oh, have you seen, <laughs> seen any couriers or like mailmen? That uh, is that is that a reasonable thing to wonder? <laughs> looking for a courier. Out. <laughs> See, oh. I get that, but also you didn't answer the question. And if you have seen the courier, I have I have a follow up question. If you haven't. <laughs> Then, I, then it seems that we um, could just kind that, of. With that, he will uh, shoot another slain at you. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Father Manny, you have light. You can do light thing. Yes, light. I don't think he can. It's a, it's. Uh, I I'm a, he's gonna I'm miss. I'm a cleric of light. I'm a man of order, not light. He's gonna I miss, think. and uh, I think this is a good place to stop. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. before, because I am looking at these comments here, and Tony. Um, you asked about what the setup is. This is on roll 20. Roll 20, yes. Anyway, mm -hmm. all right. Thank you guys for another wonderful session. Looking forward to yeah. exploring this cave and figuring out what the master is and all. Um, but thank you all for Nick Pollock, Daniel Ports, John Metzelar, Austin Bristow, and our lovely DM, Michael Levy. Thank you all for joining us today, and we'll see you guys.